Hello everyone, this is Syntax Error and welcome back to another tutorial video. And in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at tab completers. Now this video goes hand in hand with the previous video, which is commands. Um, so if you go ahead and type slash gm, for example, it will give us two options that we can select from. So this is the tab completer. And for example, if you go ahead and click on creative, it will set us to creative mode. If we go ahead and do the exact same thing for survival, and if we play and if we press tab, it will auto complete it for us. Then it will change our game mode to survival as well. So let's get straight into the coding. Then we are back in our tutorials plugin, and the first step we are gonna go and create a new Java class and call it commands. So we're gonna create the commands first. Now we are just gonna quickly go through this. And we're gonna type in implements command executor. And then we can create a public boolean and call it on command. Then in the brackets, we can type command sender, sender, comma, command, cmd, string, label, and finally, string, square brackets, args. Then we can go ahead and do our curly brackets and import both command sender and command. That would be the first one. And then now we are going to compare whether or not the, um, the person sending um, the command is a player or not. So we're going to do if with our exclamation mark, which is basically the opposite of sender instance of player. So whatever code that's going to, um, is going to, in, inside this uh, curly brackets is going to run if the sender of the command is not a player because of the exclamatory mark. Then we can do sender.send message as only players can use that command. Then we can go ahead and do return true with our semicolon. Now we're going to do an else statement. Basically, what the else statement is, whatever code. Is inside this will run if the sender is a player. So we're gonna do player player equals to bracketed player. Let's just make sure that it gets a player, not anything else. Sender. Then we can type another if statement. If our player dot has permission and put an op, which just means whether or not our player has op or not. Then we can type an else statement again, and we can do sender dot send message, and inside the brackets we can put our speech marks and say you are not allowed to use this command. So whenever a non opt player uses um slash gm, they will get the message you are not allowed to use this command. Now in the last video. Uh, we're gonna go through this section now. In 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 the last video, we, where we talked about how to do how to create commands for our plugin, we mentioned that there are two different ways where you can do it. However, in this case, since we have to use we want to use a tab completer, we'll have to use a second method, which will be if args dot length is more than zero. Basically, this just means that there's a space in between. So for example, in this case, there's going to be a slash gm, and then a space, and then, then only survival or creative. And that survival and creative, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in a, in a bit. So if args square bracket zero dot equals ignore case, and inside our brackets, we can put our speech marks, and we can type survival. So basically, what this args square bracket zero means is, for example, if we type in slash gm survival, our args square bracket zero will be our survival. So it's going to compare whether or not it's survival or creative. Now we can go ahead and say player dot set game mode as game mode dot survival. Now we can go ahead and do the same thing for creative mode. If args square bracket zero dot equals ignore case bracketed 
with our speech marks creative then we can go ahead and type clear dot set game mode as game mode dot creative now there'll be an error here so what we have to do is we have to go below the else statement and type return true and it will get rid of our error now we can go into our main class and we are just going to list the command down so we can type get command inside the brackets we can go ahead and type gm which is basically the beginning which is slash gm that's basically what it means uh, dot set executor and new commands the commands here is basically our na the name of our commands class. Now we can go in into our resources file and double click to open plugin.yml. Then we have to do commands with our colon. Then we can type um, gm colon description um, players game mode. So we're just going to set a description for that. Moving on, we can go ahead and create a new Java class and this time we can name it tab complete. And then we can go ahead and type in implements tab completer. Then now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do at override. And we're going to type public list angle bracket string. Then we're going to call it on tab complete and in the brackets we're going to type command sender that's not supposed to be a space sender comma command command then comma again string alias that's the wrong spelling string alias and finally string square brackets args then now we can put our curly brackets and implements and in um, and import command command sender and list and now we can go ahead and create a new array list. So we're gonna do list and in the bra angle brackets we're gonna type string and we're gonna call it commands equals to new array list. Angle bracket and normal brackets. And then we can press Alt Enter to import array list. And then we can do if args dot length equals equals to one. Then now we're going to do list string and we're going to call it, we're going to create a new uh, array list and we're going to call it completions equals to a new array list, angle bracket and normal brackets and finally semicolon. Then now we are going to do completions dot add and in the brackets we're going to put our speech marks and in the speech marks we are going to put whatever we put down here which in this case will be survival and creative. So we're going to type survival and then we're going to create a new one completions.add bracket speech marks for creative and then we can put our semicolon now we can create an enhance for loop so we can do for string s and colon completions and then we are going to do an if statement if s dot to lower case bracket dot starts with in the brackets we're going to type arcs square bracket zero dot two lower case that's not supposed to be a locale root inside it's just supposed to be an empty bracket there we go then now we can type commands dot add s basically what these two lines does is that it's going to loop through all our completions with it, which in this case will be survival and creative then this line will compare for example if we type slash gm and we type s the tab complete will only give us survival as an option and not creative because creative doesn't start with an s if we do not include this line even if we type the entire word survival um, even if we even if we type almost the entire word survival, it's going to still show creative as well. So we are just going to go ahead with that, and then under our enhanced for loop, we can do return commands.
with our semicolon and then outside our if statement we can go ahead and return null now we can go back into our main class and we can do get command and inside our brackets we do the exact same thing gm dot set tab no, not set executor dot set tab completer and new tab complete so it's gonna be the name of our tab completer class and with that we are technically done with the coding part so we are going to build the artifacts and i'll see you in the test server we are back in our test server and if we go ahead and run the command uh, gm we can see that it pops out we can go ahead and change ourselves to creative mode and if we change ourselves to survival it does that as well so that's that i guess that's it for today's video i guess so if you did enjoy this video please leave a like and subscribe it would be greatly appreciated and if you do have video ideas or some plugins they want to be coded into the game feel free to leave a comment down below and with that all said thank you all for watching and i'll see you when i see you in the next video bye